Welcome, Bruce, to Behind the Scenes at Delta College. I know I'm in the welding department, and I'm wondering, as the uh, program coordinator, if you could tell me a little bit about welding, like how many faculty there are? Well, currently we have three full-time faculty and uh, five part-time faculty. Uh, four of the part-time faculty teach here on campus, and one of them teaches at our off-campus facility, which is in Bull Creek. And um, how many students are enrolled in the program? Currently we have over 150. Uh, we have classes that are down to one credit, and we have classes that are up to eight credits. So we have uh, quite a range of uh, students and quite a range of opportunities for students. Okay. And yes, tell me a little bit more about that. Like what programs can uh, or degrees can students earn, and, and what would they find here at the welding? Uh... Well, we have uh, two degrees that students can earn here at Delta. The advanced certificate, typically uh, the students take just welding courses. Uh, with the associate's degree, uh, students would take some general education classes, some math, some English, political science, health and wellness, those type of courses, along with uh, the welding courses. And with those welding courses, with both programs, uh, students leave with a welding certification. So that's a bonus on top of those two uh, degrees. And, and tell me that about that. When uh, students leave, like what uh, sorts of jobs or employers would they uh, be looking at? Well, we have a lot of different uh, employers that are out there that our students work for. Uh, our former, I should say, our former students work for, uh, from welding engineering firms uh, to manufacturing uh, companies to uh, construction companies. Michigan Sugar, as an example, would be a place that would, our students would go. Education's another area. Uh, we uh, just hired a new staff member, and he's a former student of ours. Marketing, sales, uh, the person that calls on us right now from one of the local sales uh, companies is uh, a former student of ours. So there's a wide range of uh, opportunities uh, that uh, students uh, can go out and get jobs in. And um, are, are you seeing more women in the curriculum? This semester, uh, I don't know the exact figure, but we have uh, a, a small minority of women that come into our program. Although they have been, the ones that have come through have typically been very successful. Uh, one that comes to mind, uh, Lori Kuyper, came through our program, uh, went on uh, to become a, a welding engineer, went on to Ferris, became a welding engineer, and went to work for Miller Electric, um, working on welding machines uh, in Appleton, Wisconsin. And now she's, uh, the last I talked to her, she's down in the uh, Gulf Coast area working in the oil industry. Wow, great. And uh, tell me about yourself. How did you get involved in welding? I grew up in the UP, and when I uh, graduated from high school, I wasn't, wasn't ready to go to college yet, so I went into service, and when I got into service, I got uh, interested in welding there. From there, when I got out of the service, for, uh, I went to uh, Ferris State University, uh, received my degree in uh, welding technology, uh, then I got my degree in education because I always wanted to be a teacher. And um, I had a couple jobs between uh, then and Delta College, but when this uh, job came at, available at Delta College, I fell into it and, and it's worked out real well for me. How long have you been here? Uh, this is my 29th year. Great. And uh, it's been a very enjoyable time. Uh, I plan on probably working a few more years and, and then uh, look towards retirement. Can you tell us how the field has changed uh, in your years as an instructor? The big thing that's changed is the equipment. Um, if you look at the welders that we currently have here, this typical welder would be about six times bigger than what it is now. So things have gotten a lot smaller, uh, but this machine will put out more power than that old machine. So the equipment uh, is the basic, is really the basic thing that has changed. And I'm sure there's probably some different types of welding. Can you tell me about those? Right. We have four different processes that we teach here at Delta. We have our oxyacetylene. Uh, typically, that's a cutting, welding, brazing uh, process. Then we have our gas metal arc welding, or MIG welding, some people call it. Students come out of that class welding pipe. And we have our shielded metal arc welding, or stick welding. Again, our students are able to weld pipe in that class and our gas tungsten arc welding, or TIG welding, again, that some people call it. Once they leave that, pro that class, they're also able to uh, weld uh, pipe. 
I'm very interested in learning more. I'm wondering if I could join in on one of your classes. Right, we're going to have a class starting here in just a little bit, and you can uh, sit in on a class, and uh, maybe we can get you to do some welding. That sounds great. Thank you very much. Bruce. Okay, thanks, Leanne. Well, we have a new student with us today, Leanne Govitz, and she's going to be watching. Uh, she's from the college here. And um, what we're going to do, just like we talked in the classroom today, we're going to be starting to strike the arc. First thing we want to do when we learn how to weld, uh, we're going to be making buttons. And remember, when we struck that arc, what do we do? We, we touch, we pull back, and we make the weld. So with that in mind, let's give it a try here. OK, get your helmets down. All right, now do you want to give it a try? Sure. All and right. You just, okay, so you just hold it in the same spot. I'm going to hold your hand to help you out with it, okay? So okay. you come on on this side over here. Now what you're going to do, you're, you're going to hold it just like this. Just relax. Okay. We, when I say, who's, Bruce is the best instructor, you're going to agree with me. You're going <laughs> to nod your head down, okay? Okay. Okay, ready? Thanks so much, Bruce, for letting me come in and learn more about welding. It's been a lot of fun. I'm going to try one more. All right. All right.